Well, my name is Liam McMorrow. I'm 7'2", 270 pounds. Grew up in Scarborough, Ontario, where I went to West Hill Collegiate. Uh, didn't play basketball there, but later went to Durham College in Oshawa for a year, and then uh, to Marquette University, and then later transferred to Tennessee Tech, where I finished up uh, with a Bachelor of Science. Uh, played in the NBA Development League this year for the Knicks Summer League team. A lot of guys um, my age, you know, 20, 25, 26, have been pounding on their legs and their knees for 10 plus years. You know, I've only played three seasons, very short seasons of basketball. Durham College was great. I mean, that was the first time I put on a jersey and was in an organized game of basketball with referees and all that. So, I mean, it took a little bit getting used to because of how physical I'm used to playing, like in sports like lacrosse and hockey. But, I mean, as soon as I got the hang of it, it was fun, man. I was just running up and down the court. There wasn't a lot of seven foot two guys, you know, uh, playing at that uh, the college level in Canada. So, it's like, man, I'm just catching the ball and just finishing above people, just dunking and rebounding. I mean, it was great, man. I, I went from loving hockey to loving basketball, you know. It was, it was an easy transition. So it's summer, I'm training at uh, Extreme Fitness at Whitby, just doing a regular workout. This trainer comes up to me and he's like, man, where do you play? I'm like, oh, you know, I played at Durham, you know, it was my first year playing. He's like, first year playing? He's like, man, I'm gonna get you into a Division I school, like a top 25. I'm like, okay, man, whatever you say. You know, he brings me in my office, he writes down this plan, writes down all these schools. He's like, I'm gonna do this for you, man. This is gonna happen. And I'm like, like this guy was intense, like a very intense person you meet, right? And I'm like, all right. He starts getting schools on the phone. He just literally looks at NCAA from the year before, top 20 teams, and starts calling them. Rings everyone down, Georgetown, UConn, Marquette. So he calls Marquette. Eventually, um, all these coaches are like, well, where's the tape on this guy? Give us tape. I don't, I don't even think they taped the games at Durham that year. You know, the head coach got fired, and is like, there was no film. Like, they're asking for film, we don't have film. So this guy, Greg, this trainer that I just met, he's like, come see this guy. Send someone up, come see him. But that violates NCAA rules, all this stuff. So Jamie McNeely um, played for Coach Williams at New Orleans and uh, was doing a graduate assistant at Marquette. He was just starting there. Jamie was in town. He's from Malvern. He's like right it's two minutes from my house. So he works me out and is relaying how I'm doing to, to the coaching staff. It was crazy. I went from uh, some random guy talking to me at Extreme Fitness to doing workouts with a guy I just met in MT, and then I'm at summer school in Marquette, and just a whole world, it was like a whole turnaround, like a 360, like I'm in this basketball culture of this city, just understanding how serious it was, like just going from Durham to NCAA Division I basketball, where games are televised, and it's nationally known, and everyone's betting on games, and now it's a serious thing, like if you don't perform, you're losing your scholarship. Went from being like, I'm testing this out, to like, you're in it now, like you're in the league. Like this, like that was like going from playing high school to just like the pros, it was crazy. NBA Development League is, is professional, you know, it's like it's affiliated with the NBA. Um, guys are, are playing to get a paycheck, they're playing to feed their families, you know. But the game itself suits me way better than the college game because the isolations, you know, the, the defensive three second rule, you can't, you, you don't get teams that play a zone and you got a big guy standing in the middle of the paint, you know. Everyone's gotta move. I love the pro game. The pro game suits like my body, my size, my game perfectly. I love it. I'm gonna give them everything I got. I mean, I mean that's the honest truth. I mean, every practice, I'm gonna run until I can't run anymore. I'm just gonna give as much energy and enthusiasm as I can. Family's everything to me. It's like my motivation for, for playing, for for doing everything in life. You know, what I mean, I, I got a daughter that's about to turn four years old. I got her name tattooed right here, Leah Claire. I mean. Uh, I see it all the time. I see it when I'm working out. I see it when I'm shooting free throws in the gym. Look at that. I just think of her. I'm like, I'm doing it for her, you know. My mom, she's Irish, uh, Canadian. Um, she met my dad. He was born in Trinidad. I don't know how those two met up. He's six seven. She's six foot. Maybe it was the height thing. But that combination made this thing right here, and uh, I just feel blessed every day. I mean, I have all my siblings, my uncles, the aunts, everyone supports me. I mean, everything. Family is everything for me. I'm Liam McMorrow, and that's my baller status.